Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to start lecture number 6. Our topic is rotation. When the size and shape of object and image are same but orientation is different then there are two possibilities. Reflection which is covered earlier. Number 2 is rotation which we are going to discuss. When we talk about rotation, the object rotates number 1 around its center known as center of rotation. Number 2, it covers some angle known as angle of rotation. Here we can see that object is at 0 degree angle and 0 0 is our origin. Now the object moves around the center at its origin as shown. Suppose 1 1 is now the point around which the object rotates as shown in figure. Therefore 1 1 is now the center of rotation. It shows that how the center of rotation changes depending upon the condition. We can now see that the object rotates around center of rotation covering the angle from 0 degree to 90 degree. So here the center of rotation is 0 0 and the angle of rotation is 90 degree. In another animation we can see that there is an object in red color and there is its image in blue color. The center of rotation is 0 0. The image is formed by moving in clockwise direction and covers the angle 90 degree as shown. The image is formed by rotating further in clockwise direction and covered 180 degree as shown. It again rotates further to cover 270 degree in clockwise. If we rotate the image further it will reach 0 degree and covers the whole angle of 360 degree. It is noted that the center of rotation is fixed at 0 0 which is the origin. If the same object now rotates in anti-clockwise direction and covers the angle 90 degree then we can see that 90 degree rotation in anti-clockwise is same as 270 degree rotation in clockwise. If we rotate the image 180 degree anti-clockwise then it is same that if we rotate the image 180 degree clockwise. In other words the image reached at the same point of 180 degree angle either in clockwise or anti-clockwise as shown. In 180 degree rotation it is not mentioned about anti-clockwise or clockwise because they are both same. If the image rotate further in anti-clockwise to cover the angle 270 degree then we can see that it is same as to rotate the image 90 degree clockwise. In order to understand the rotation we are going to solve an example which says that triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A-B-C- by 90 degree clockwise rotation about origin. Draw and label triangle A-B-C- Here the center of rotation is origin that is 0 0. The triangle is rotated in clockwise direction as shown. To solve the problem of rotation, we take the help of plus sign as shown. From origin to this vertex A, the distance is 1 unit right and 1 unit up. On plus sign, 0 is origin and 1 unit right and 1 unit up as shown. If we rotate both the units in 90 degree clockwise direction about origin, we can see that one right becomes one unit down and one unit up becomes one unit right. Now 
we plot the corresponding vertex A dash as one unit down and one unit right. Now we take the second vertex B from origin. It is three units right and one unit up from origin. Now we plot these unit on the plus sign as shown. Now we rotate these units in 90 degree clockwise about origin. After rotation we get three units down and one unit right. Now plotting these units, three units down from origin and then one unit right, we get the corresponding vertex B dash as shown. Now looking at third vertex C, it is four units up and three units right from the origin. We can also reach C by covering three units right and then four units up but it is easy to take longer unit first because to draw the plus sign is easy as shown now rotating this shape in 90 degree clockwise as shown to get four units right and three units down now plotting on the original figure to get corresponding vertex c dash as shown four units right and 3 units down. Now joining all vertices A dash B dash C dash we get the required triangle after 90 degree rotation in clockwise direction. Now solving past paper November 2010 paper 11 question number 24 part B. Triangle A is mapped onto triangle C by rotation center the origin through 90 degree anti clockwise draw and label triangle C. Here the direction of rotation is 90 degree anti clockwise as shown. From origin, the distance of first vertex is one block. On plus sign, it is one unit up when we rotate the unit in 90 degree anti clockwise as shown. Then after rotation, it is one unit on the left as shown in figure. Second vertex is 2 units up after rotation, 90 degree anticlockwise, it is 2 units on the left. So we get the second corresponding vertex. As shown on plus sign, 0 is origin, third vertex is 2 units right and 2 units up. When we rotate these units on 90 degree anticlockwise, then from center it will be 2 units up and 2 units left as shown. So we get the third vertex. Joining these vertices we get the required triangle C after rotation 90 degree anticlockwise. Therefore the coordinates of C are minus 1 0, minus 2 0 and minus 2 2. Another problem of past paper is May June 2011 paper 2 1 question number 6 part 2 B the vertex of triangle is given as 2 1 the point is rotated 90 degree anti-clockwise about 1 minus 1 here the center of rotation is 1 minus 1 the first vertex 2 1 is located from center 1 minus 1 is 2 blocks up and 1 block right. Now drawing the plus sign 2 blocks up and 1 block right. On the bottom the sign is reversed on horizontal line of plus sign 2 blocks right and 1 block down and its sign is reversed on the left side of the plus sign as shown. Now 2 blocks up and 1 block right from center 1 minus 1 is rotated 90 degree anti-clockwise direction. It will be 2 blocks left and 1 block up as shown on plus sign. Now locating coordinates in given figure from center 1 minus 1, 2 blocks left and 1 block up as shown, we get the required point minus 1 0. Next problem is October November 2012 
paper 2 to question number 11 b part 2 triangle a is mapped on two triangle c by an anti clockwise rotation of 90 degree center is a 0 3 draw triangle c first we mark the center of rotation 0 3 as shown triangle a is rotated 90 degree anti clockwise now drawing plus sign the first vertex of triangle a from center 0 3 is two blocks on the left when we rotate it 90 degree anti clockwise then it will be two blocks down as shown therefore in figure mark the corresponding vertex two blocks down from the center as shown now drawing another plus sign from second vertex its distance is three blocks on the left from center 0 3 when we rotate 90 degree anti clockwise then three blocks left will become three blocks down as shown so three blocks down from center 0 3 is marked on the given figure as shown the third vertex of triangle a is marked on plus sign drawing the plus sign two blocks left and two blocks down is rotated 90 degree anti clockwise we get two blocks down and two blocks right now marking the corresponding vertex in the given figure two blocks down and two blocks right as shown in figure so joining all the corresponding vertices we get the required triangle C therefore the coordinates of C after 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation are 0 0 0 1 and 2 1 next question is may june 2009 paper 1 question number 20 part b the question says that the rotation 90 degree clockwise center 2 0 maps triangle a onto d draw and label triangle d first we locate the center 2 0 on the given figure the first vertex is one block up on plus sign it is marked one block up the rotation is 90 degree clockwise so after rotation it will be one block right so mark one block right from center 2 0 as shown in figure now the second vertex of triangle A from center 2 0 is two blocks up and two blocks right as shown on the plus sign after rotation of 90 degree clockwise it will be two blocks down and two blocks right in figure it is marked as two blocks down and two blocks right from center to zero as shown the third vertex of triangle a is two blocks right and one block up from center to zero is marked as shown now on plus sign after 90 degree clockwise rotation it will be two blocks down and one block right as shown now this point is marked in the figure two blocks down and one block right from center to zero as shown joining the vertices we get triangle D Therefore, the vertices of triangle D are 3, 0, 3, minus 2 and 4, minus 2. So, this is our answer. This question is October, November 2012, paper 2, 1, question number 11, part B. Triangle A is mapped onto triangle C by anti-clockwise rotation. Center 0, 3. Draw and label triangle C. First we mark the center of rotation in the given figure. Triangle A rotates in 90 degree clockwise shown by, by an arrow. The first vertex is 3 blocks right from the center 0 3. As we rotate 90 degree the 3 blocks right goes on to 3 blocks down after 90 degree clockwise rotation. Now mark the corresponding vertex three block down in the given figure the second vertex is four blocks on the right from the center 
with the help of plus sign after rotation 90 degree clockwise four blocks will become downward the third vertex of triangle a is three blocks right two blocks down plotting the same on plus sign three blocks right two blocks down as shown after 90 degree clockwise rotation it will become three blocks down and two blocks left as shown mark the corresponding vertex on the given figure as shown now joining all the vertices we get the triangle c the coordinates of triangle c are 0 0 minus 2 0 and 0 minus 1 another question of past paper is may june 2013 paper 1 1 question number 22 b the rotation 90 degree clockwise center 1 1 maps triangle a onto triangle d on the diagram draw d first we locate the center of rotation 1 1 on the given figure the vertex of triangle a is one block on the right now draw plus sign one block right after 90 degree clockwise rotation becomes one block down now mark the corresponding vertex on the given figure one block down from the center one one now second vertex of triangle a is four blocks on the right from center one one on the plus sign it is marked and rotated 90 degree clockwise will goes to four blocks down now mark the same on figure four blocks down from the center the third vertex of triangle a is two blocks right and one block up on the plus sign it is marked two blocks right and one block up and it is rotated 90 degree clockwise we get we get two block down and one block right on the given figure from center it is marked two blocks down and one block right we get the corresponding vertex so joining all vertices we get the required triangle d therefore the coordinates of d after 90 degree rotation are 1 0 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 so this is the end of this lecture of rotation and if you have any question then please ask me in the comment section i will respond it okay thank you very much